Good morning, YouTube. Today is November the 4th, Sunday, at 8.25 a.m. The reason why this is important now is because um, I haven't really been around much. And uh, that's mainly due to me working a few different jobs. Uh, some sensitive stuff has been going on with that. And I'm not really at liberty to disclose where I was working or what technology giants or etc. that I was doing. With that being said, everything's cool. I'm back in town now. Um, it's been, let's see, May. So it's been a few months. <laughs> um, what I have here is a flashlight that means a lot to me. It's a Surefire, I believe it's a 6P flashlight that I have chucked up and before I got broken away from this last time, I do believe that I have it right there within a thou, back here, two point to two point within a half a thou, here it's half a thou so I've got it square luckily inside this jaw um, inside this chuck it fits just so what I need to do is make one of these uh, ring light cards for this so that way my minutoil can be seen easier anyway we got that chucked up we got a boring bar I have carbide but I'm thinking I'm gonna swap that out I don't know if I'm gonna like how it cuts because it's aluminum and I just cannot go fast enough on this um, this little lathe here now, i try and turn you a bit. I don't know how that broke, but I got it wired back in. That's my on-off now, for now. And what I'm going to be doing is installing some... Uh, some of my viewers will know what these are from. But uh, some industrial-type actuators for on-off, and I'm going to put three-wire control in. Luckily, because I'm an electrician, I know how to use this stuff. This is my world. This is something I'm learning. And thank you for coming on this journey with me. Now, we can try some kerosene. And kerosene... Oh! <laughs> what am I doing? I'm not even telling you the purpose of the video yet. Well... Oh, uh, we got two batteries here. They're almost identical in diameter. However, this is an 18650, and this is a 16, um, 340, RCA-123, CR-123 is another na name for this one. This is what you find on electronic cigarettes, high-end flashlights, laptop battery packs, Milwaukee battery packs, uh, etc. In fact, this will focus... Those are tabs from where it was welded originally in place of the battery pack. Now these are LifePo 4. These are lithium ion. These are uh, different chemistry. These are safe chemistry. This is a little more dangerous. But while I had a charger for these, in 2013 I did a uh, modification for the Surefire, um, which gave it, which is right here, an LED bulb instead of a tungsten xenon filament bulb and this thing's bright what's cool is these have a built-in uh, voltage regulator and yes I cut myself this morning uh, anyway these have a built-in voltage regulator that allows you to use six volt set of batteries because you use two of these or four volt when you use one of these and the purpose of what we're doing the whole shebang is because this is currently 17 millimeters on the inside so it's 17 and a little change that gives us clearance for 16 so we gotta bring that up to 19 millimeter because that's exactly well not quite 1633 1823 it's just under uh, it's a fraction of one tenth millimeter under two millimeters bigger so it's about two, doesn't fit 
this is probably going to be redacted or changed some way but uh, let's see what we can do okay on fluids we could use kerosene but uh, this Realton I really like it for aluminum uh, easier machine for use on all metals drilling, reaming, sawing, turning tapping, boring, broaching, milling does not contain uh, trichloroethane, sulfur, oil, or toxic chemicals. Disposal down the drain, non flammable, non explosive, which is really cool. It's biodegradable, water based. It's basically a soap. Now, another great choice is Anchor Lube. We're going to take a skim cut now and see how this tool does. I'm going to get everything wetted down and uh, we'll take it from there. Now, I'm using a magnet. So that I can stick the bottom of this plastic tray in here and have it not vibrate, shake, move, or get lost in any way. Also, for those of you that like stickers, if anyone can remember that one, let me know. Sorry. Now even if I remove this tail sock, there's not much room. Ta-da! Small lathes, man. They take they take a minute. Feeding in the correct direction. And we'll be right back while I change tools. Okay, I actually found my second boring bar much easier. And, uh, seems to still have a honed edge. Let's try and do this here. There we go. It still seems to have a honed edge. I've used it on some plastic ring making lately. Um, but this is just a piece of um, that leaded alloy. Um, now, I made this one before I got this carbide one. And it ends up, they're almost the same exact length overall, which was interesting. But uh, this is brand new, never used. And I figured I'd just take it out and try it on this. But you know, that's what I get. Anywho, I'll put that right there. Set that to a positive rake. Uh, I had an Allen key out. Oh. And so I know this is a lot of stick out, but it's the only way to get to the back end of the flashlight. And I want to try and do a decent job since I've had this flashlight, oh my, since 2003. My father came back and gave it to me. Uh, he was overseas for something. So, you know, it, it has some meaning in history to me. And we got that snugged up. Let's give this another shot. Okay, well, I'm just measuring up this here battery, and this is just a typical battery. I got more in my pocket, and it's looking like this battery is 714, so that would be closest to, 
try a different cell. I know there's a crimp and there's some other things going on with the heat shrink. And this one's about 716, 715. So I'm thinking 752 to 757. 757 would be roughly about where uh, the same clearance would be that was there. And uh, I got a set of these here. I don't know if they're uh, telescoping expanding gauges. I don't know if they're uh, snap gauges or not. But these are stuff that was happening at the higher RPMs. So. Okay, real quick. Trying to make sure it finds the maximum center. And now we're shooting for 749, 750. On the slant line, brown and sharp, which is also from Rhode Island. We're getting that. 750 or thereabouts which is plenty close enough for a damn flashlight um, so I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna show you how this gets reassembled sorry about that so yeah this is a surefire 6p and uh, you know I'm gonna say that's some pretty good finish I got in there it's not the best but for someone like me in his basement I'll take it so these are the batteries and this type of deal is why we need to make it bigger than the battery I will have that fixed soon I got new wraps on the way but uh, pretty good fit now that's your end cap that's your front cap what I wanted to do before I put this together is to grab some antioxidant compound non-grit make sure it's non-gritty and uh, just get some of it into these threads because I want to prevent aluminum galling as much as I can and onto the rubber band uh, the o-ring yeah wow so it'll work itself around as uh, as it comes in and out this helps to keep it waterproof as well, which, since it's a tack light, it's supposed to do. Now it's sealed. Moment of truth. Now this functions in two ways. It's supposed to turn on as soon as you tighten down the back end or has a button and I'm gonna say that was a success thanks for watching catch you next time